You know, time is of the essence, as we know, especially if you've got kids at home, you're trying to get dinner organized and everything else that you need to do. So here to show us two delicious recipes that you can throw together in just a matter of minutes. How good does that sound? Chef Graham Elliott is here. Good to have you here. Thank you. How are you? This is such an attractive concept to me. So we're talking how long? You know, less than 15 minutes for each dish. Boom. Right? Okay. So, I mean, again, if you're... Uh, you got kids, you're yeah. cooking at home, you, you know, you're in a rush, you're working, whatever it is, okay, so it's hard if, to do. It so. is hard to do. Uh, and these are tasty recipes, so we're yes. going to give you two. We're going to walk through two. The first yes. one being a stir fry. Right, exactly. So what I'm going to do, I've got 100% uh, Canadian triple A Angus steak, right? Mm. And I'm going to be searing that off with some garlic, some ginger. Oh, yeah, look good. at you looking all professional. Oh, like smelling, making sure it's okay. Is it all right? It smells really good. Good. So we got yeah. sesame, we got yes. corn, steak seared off. Get some bell peppers. And all this stuff, I mean, you can prep ahead of time, too. When we talk 15-minute dinner, yes. I mean, you could have had these chopped vegetables. And, totally. You know, and... But, I mean, you're going to see that this is going to take me two minutes to, like, get going, right? right? Because I've got some of those things ahead. But, literally, if you're at home and it's like, okay, I'm going to chop some peppers, sear some steak real quick while that's cooking, I got some rice done, and then you can plate it up. And, literally, super quick. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, right. boom. Right. And, yeah. really, what's cool is that you can actually get all of these ingredients, guess where? I don't know. You At don't Walmart. Know. Can you believe it? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. One-stop shop. Exactly. That's so you great. get all that and then the steak and the fact that it's... And stir-fry is so great because you can, you can put in anything. Anything, right? You know, like right? you can go look at your fridge, too, and go, okay, well, I that's, think that would that's taste the right? It's a vehicle for you to be able to make whatever you want. Okay, so love that. So now I've got this. I've got the rice, right? Rice, rice, baby. Right, right, okay. baby. Right. Oh, throwback. Any chance, that you can, any chance that you can, you know, throw in a, a vanilla <laughs> ice reference, oh, you're it's set. True. It's true. So, again, nice, natural, simple. Yep, we've got this. Sorry. No, I loved it. Looks all important. It does. Now when you do that. So I've got that, and I seared it in uh, sesame oil. This, a little bit of lime. So you've got acid, you've got salt, you've got all that flavor. It's amazing. Seared. It's, guys, it smells so good, you can imagine. And you can make it like really nice and pretty if you wanted, or in this case, it's still pretty, but, but it's yeah, gonna I be think, more family style. I think this looks pretty. Right, nice and simple. Love it. Got all the steak, got all the little goodies. And it's fun to eat too, right? Totally. And you're getting all your good. I would, yeah. Top it Can with I do a little what? Please do. A little whatever. Look at you. are like the the what's the I'm, guy's I'm name? Like the, the Salt Bay or whatever I don't the guy know. is. I'm like he's the high tower. This, like you walk back and you kind of do that one. I don't want one of those. Look at, oh, did you play? Did you play basketball in school? Oh, uh, how'd you know? I, you know? I know you did. Uh, okay, moving on. Let's right, talk yes. about one of the staples in my growing up. I, I mentioned off camera when I saw you. I haven't had this. I used to have this probably once a week. We're did you? Beef stroganoff. Yes. Yeah, growing up, but I haven't had it in years. Okay, so what I've done, roasted off some onion, some portobello. Now I'm going to throw in my egg noodle, right? Mm -hmm. This, again, you can throw in any kind of pasta you want. You can do this with gnocchi, any of those kind of things. You know, however crazy you're feeling. So, uh, got made, that. I made pasta for the first time in my life. Really? A couple days ago with my daughter. Oh, nice. Really fun like from hand? Like That's everything? Correct. How awesome was that? It was really fun. And Did she fun love it? She loved it. Because you get all dirty. And, yeah, it was and amazing. I Flour it everywhere. It's a perfect way to cook in my house. I know. I love it, too. Yeah. So, I've got three boys. So, you oh, know, fun. anytime that I can get uh, get their hands dirty and going. Yeah. All right. Get them interacting. Yeah. Okay, so, so, I got my steak. I've got it seared. It's going on. This is a strip loin steak medallion. So, instead of... You know, just ground beef like we were talking about. This one, we're That's doing right, again, elevated. Was... That's Greek yogurt. That's Greek yogurt. Yeah. Okay. So nice, protein, healthy. I mean, you could do sour cream if you wanted, but Yeah. I feel again, like that's how I grew up. Right? I know. And cream of mushroom soup. I, yeah, it's true. It's one of those things, you know, um, that your mom or your dad or whomever gave you. So growing up and you never knew how it was made. Right. I actually have never <laughs> known what beef stroganoff actually was. Isn't that great? this moment. It so here great. it is. It's and then got... you could plate it. Right. Make it look gorgeous as yep. you do. And that's what we're going to do. Again, mushrooms, all and this all stuff. All kids love pasta, too. I mean, they, I don't, it doesn't everybody. Everybody. Everybody, not just right? kids. Yeah. No, I think it's so fun where it's like if a kid, you know, wants chicken nuggets or any of those things, it's like, cool, let's make them from scratch right now. Let's yes. show you. You know, you like potato Get chips? Get them involved. Cool. And you yeah. know you have kids, so it, like, works for you anyway. Exactly. That's what I, would, I grew up with. So we've got the steak. You see, when I, when I cooked it, I, like, made sure that it was nice and shaped and perfect, seasoned. Mm -hmm get it in a hot pan, flipped it over, and now you would let it rest for about half the time that you cooked it. So okay. if you cooked it for eight minutes, four minutes, you let it sit. Let all it, the... like, lock in the juices. Yeah, they all kind of disperse evenly amongst the steak so that when you slice it, it's not well done on the outside and just rare in the middle. Yeah, yeah. This will be nice and perfect all the way through. And so you could take this, we could slice it, we could put it over the top, you know, here. We there could literally go. just do oh, our chef, nice little steak. Oh, it looks absolutely beautiful. 
as you do that and beautify, yes. uh, I mean, the smells, as I, as I said, absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. We've got both these recipes on our website. You can head there anytime, yourmorning.ca. Thanks so much for being here. Absolutely. I'm Thank you. Now. Please do. All right, Find we'll out. be right back after this. Oh, looky, looky.